last night. Um, I'm having coffee because I have to go to my nail appointment. And I actually did fill up my water, uh, not my water bottle, my um, change thing. So I'll show you guys that. It's really crazy how much change adds up. It is Thursday morning and I'm on my way to go get my nails done. Look, I forgot to put the cream on my brows. Okay. Um, I'm on my way to go get my nails done. I had to pick up something at UPS. These glasses are gonna really bother me, so I'm gonna switch them out. Um, because they're crooked. Okay. This jacket looks like huge. Okay, I'm gonna get my nails done, finally. Um, my nails grow really fast. Oh, thank you. I feel like I need to get them done every week and a half. I get a lot of questions about how I ask for my nails because they're short and they're, you know, they look like, I feel like they look like real nails. I just, my, I got lucky and I found a girl who can really do short acrylic nails very, very well because not everyone can, unfortunately. I learned that the hard way and I learned that by going to many different places. The nails would look like 90s stripper nails, like, you know what I mean when they go out like that, like, it's not cute or like they're just too wide. You know, it took me a while and it took me a lot of, um, <laughs> like bad nail experiences to finally find the girl I like and also the um the well because you guys know I've had like issues with them double booking my appointments or just not even writing down my appointment and just like stuff like that but now I have my nail technician's number so whenever I want an appointment I just you know text her directly. I always get questions like how do you get your nails done? I just ask for short acrylic nails um you just have to find a girl who can do it or a guy who can do them well because short nails are hard to do because I don't know why it's so hard to do but like Mary my nail tech she told me that people don't really like to do short acrylic nails because it's it's harder yesterday I went to Mike's house at night um, and I thought he had like hockey or something so my plan was like I would go to Sephora while he was going to hockey but um, it turns out he didn't have hockey, so I was like, oh no, my plans like got ruined. Uh, Sephora somehow deactivated their code early, so I wasn't able to use the code. And I just don't get why they didn't just reactivate the code. Like, I, it was just like annoying. Like I called the woman on the phone and I get that she probably got a ton of calls, but she was kind of rude. And I was just asking like, how does that happen? She's like, I don't know how it happens, but I'm giving you a solution. I was like, I don't want to place the order over the phone. Like what if I wanted to browse? I'm gonna have to go through and tell you every single item number, give you my credit card number. Like, no. I asked my mom if she needed anything at Sephora. So she said that she needed her mascara and I needed my Chase eyeshadow. So when my mom texted me that she was going to Sephora, I was like, can you do me a favor and just pick up like these things for me? And I sent her like my, my card, this, the barcode, my like one time use uh, gift card, which when I put the, my, my unique code in the promo code box, someone said like, maybe you're just putting it in the wrong place. Like the same, my first Sephora rodeo, I have used coupon codes on Sephora many, many times. I know where to put the coupon codes. Um, and it said that my code had already been redeemed, so that's when I called Sephora to be like, hey, like I haven't used it, like you can see my orders, I haven't used my coupon code, and then she told me that Sephora somehow deactivated the, the code. I just bought, okay, you guys know my favorite nail polish is by Essie, and it's called um, Peak Show, and I am unable to buy it, <laughs> so I... I don't know, I can't find it anywhere, but it's like my favorite. Okay, fucker, like you have your own lane, like change. Oh my god, you literally have your own lane that has started. Like, why aren't I bought um, Romper Room by Essie, which is like kind of similar? I don't like Fiji. I went through a Fiji phase in high school, but it's just like a little bit too pink for me. I like when those colors lean more on the white side more than the pink side. So that's why I'm not the biggest fan of like Fiji anymore but that was my go-to color in high school let me tell you I just finished at the nail salon and I keep hearing this rattling like right here and I'm I don't know what it is I think it's it's not doing it right now but I don't know like sometimes I think it's when I'm listening to music like I hear this rattling and it's a little annoying I keep like trying to like hit something and like fix it before I got my nails done I was going on and on about how I brought my nail polish and I guess I forgot to put it in my purse when I was leaving because I got there and I went into my purse to 
you know take it out and I didn't so I got this color called um, my hands look so weird on camera I have very small hands that's what everyone comments on whenever they shake my hand or if anyone like looks at my hands like my hands are very small but on camera I look like Shrek I'll probably put a coat of romper room on top but it's pretty nice I just got a tweet from um, one of my viewers telling me that another youtuber talked about me in her video and um i went to go watch it because well i was like listening to it in the car because you guys know like with everything that's going on on youtube right now and like how crazy things can be um i'm like really big into supporting and mentioning other youtubers right now just because youtube is trying to basically sabotage everyone and i feel like youtubers should work together to help each other if that makes sense so um her name is alex Santomo, and it sounded familiar and i think my friend tristan told me about her channel like a while ago but what she said like almost made me cry because and i'm not an emotional person but it was so nice so thank you alex if you're watching i'm gonna tweet you or like message you or something but um i was on the phone with like my community manager yesterday and I'm happy like after hearing to some like she told me that a company didn't want to work with me just because of like my um, my boob job and I literally told her I'm like I wish you would tell me what company that was because that's not a company I want to support I just feel like that's exactly why there's such a negative stigmatization surrounding plastic surgery because look at me like a company didn't want to work with me because of my plastic surgery and in those videos it was nothing like showing off my boobs like hey these are my fake titties like I never said anything like that like it was never sexual like I never like exploited my boobs for views it was purely like educational and I've said this before but the reason why I documented my experiences is because when I was going in for surgery there were very very few videos on YouTube and so I'm really happy that my videos maybe inspired some other youtubers to be open and document their experiences so I straight up told her like I wish you would tell me what company this was because I just find it disgusting that in 2016 there's still such a negative stigmatization and um, like vibe about plastic surgery like it just doesn't make any sense to me especially since those videos were purely like educational at the end of the day like I don't do sponsorships often like that if you watch my videos like you'll know you'll notice that so that's why whenever I do a sponsored video and people get mad I'm like you should be getting mad at the people if you really don't like sponsorships get mad at the people who do 20 sponsorships a month like I think the last sponsorship I did was back in the beginning of summer when I did a video for Carol's daughter and people still gave me flack for it. When I was younger, I would do more, you know, sponsor posts. I get, you know, emails every single day from companies who want to work with me. And unless it's something that, I don't know, like if, if, a, if like let's say a, like a fat tea, a weight loss tea company like came to me. That's not something that I'm really interested in on my channel anymore. I feel like those sponsorships have just have just become so see-through and transparent to the viewer. Um, I've drank those teas in the past. I have a whole video about what I think about the... I'll link it down below, but I have a whole video about what I think about like weight loss teas. So if you want to hear my opinion on them, you can watch that video. Um, but I feel like at this point, like everyone knows, if you see a picture of someone on Instagram with their tea bag, like like boomerang like you know that it's a sponsored post that being said if a company I love approached me like it cosmetics for example if it cosmetics approached me and said hey like we'd like to collaborate with you on a video and like and you will give you compensation for your time I would 100% accept that because you guys know I love it cosmetics I use a bunch of their products and I buy them myself so if a company like that came up to me and offered me you know compensation and products to do a video or mention them in a video I mean yeah I would accept that if a company like I don't know like let's say Lispec like contacted me and they wanted me to do you know commissioned post or like commission me to write or include them in videos you guys know I have bought all the pairs of Lispec myself except for this pair which they sent me because of a mix up with my other pair but you guys if if they approached me like it would be stupid for me to turn them down anyways how did I get on this rent um oh I was talking with my community manager and I you know she was like talking about how 
the company didn't want to work with me because of my boob job and that's how I got on this whole rant okay um so just hearing back to what originally got me on this but just hearing like Alex's words about how she's like how I was a breath of fresh air I don't know and just how I tell it like it is and like I'm like a real person it just it really made me feel like what I was doing how I've been like using and um making videos on my channel like how it's working for me so hearing her you know say those really nice things about me it just made me realize like there's enough people on youtube who are pg and who won't talk about certain things and who won't tell it how it is there's enough people like that and i feel like the people who actually like me and who are helping my channel grow oh, fuck, these are crooked. um i don't know i just feel like it actually is working for me. If you want to start doing more beauty videos um, and lifestyle videos, like sit down videos, just because that's where I started YouTube, I love beauty products. So let me know what kind of beauty videos you would like to see from me. I am going to be doing my hair video, talking to my future self, include the video of, no, talking to my future self, include the picture of your before and after your hair and how you think you, and so you can remind yourself to do that hair video. But, um, so yeah, let me know what kind of sit down videos you'd like to see me do when it comes to like beauty or fashion or lifestyle. Because I do want to do more sit down videos in the future. Fuck me. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I... Why the hell is this nail polish here? Oh my god, I swear there's like a ghost in my car. <laughs> Story time, my car is haunted. Um, so I just got home and... This package apparently fit in my mailbox, so she was able to actually deliver it. I think it's part of... Mike's Christmas present. Um, I also got myself a, like something I'll show you guys after. So now I'm gonna eat lunch. I got a small grilled chicken sandwich on whole wheat bread. And on the side, I just got baked glaze and a diet Dr. Pepper. I love Dr. Pepper. I wish like it became more readily available in Canada, like in fountains. I think I might like it better than Diet Coke sometimes. So I'm just gonna eat and then uh, open this up. Okay, so you guys know I love Lisbeth. So I wanted to order um, Mica Pear. It feels like heavier than normal. I wanted to order Mica Pear. I love this advert. Oh, I know. I just got my nails in this morning, but then I went to work and um, everything's like handmade. So I ruined my thumb. But that's fine. I'm used to it. Um, I love this advertisement. So I wanted to order Mica Pear for Christmas. And then, of course, I needed to throw in a pair for myself. So I got the new khaki ones. Um, I don't know what the flash looks like. Okay, I'll try these on after. And then I'm excited to see Mike's pair that I got him. So this is the pair I ordered for Mike. I want to like tell him like, try these on today. Like look, try them. But I'm gonna be good and like hold on to them until Christmas so he actually has stuff to open up on Christmas because I'm gonna get him a few more things. His Saint Laurent wallet was supposed to be his big gift, but I, I, I fucked that up and I gave it to him early because of for no reason. These are the khaki ones. They're probably not my favorite, but I liked them because they were just a little bit more simple and not so flashy like my other ones. I'm happy that they it came in a box because now I can I was wondering how I was gonna wrap that up. Um, I also have been getting questions and I've been seeing comments about how people are like, does anyone else find the Lispec's um, sunglasses get dirty fast? And yeah, they do get dirty a little bit faster, like not with like debris or like dust or anything, but especially on like the blush gold pair that I have or the gold pair that I have, it's like a mirror. So you see like fingerprints and smudges um, more than if it was just like a flat lens. So I don't think this is gonna have as big of an issue. Oh, I wanted to show you guys new bracelets. I need to photograph them. As you guys know, evil eyes are sort of like my thing. I have an evil eye tattoo. Ever since I was little, I've just loved evil eye pieces. And this is kind of something I've always wanted to do with Coffee and Couture. Like I, I want to definitely expand the line into more um, like, I don't know, like dainty, maybe more fine jewelry sort of vibe so these are the new evil eye bracelets this is what they look like on the wrist the chain is just um highly polished oops stainless steel they're falling off because i didn't um do it up obviously the gold is gold plated um gold plainlet gold plated stainless steel um we would not be able to offer low prices if it was solid gold but with that being said i would maybe like to expand that in the future 
the gold is looking it's more of like a brushed pale gold more than just like you know like it's it's not like a tacky gold like you know like the gold plated like tacky it doesn't look like that it's just it's very beautiful like pale gold um and then the silver is just highly polished stainless steel and then the evil eye beads are um hand painted so they're really beautiful and i don't know i just i love them together i love them layered like whenever <laughs> I am, I'm not good at putting bracelets on myself, like no matter what bracelet they are. So whenever Mike gets here, I'm going to ask him to put on like maybe even all four of them, honestly, because I love them like all stacked together and they're so lightweight and dainty. So I'm really excited about these. These are mine, which is why I, <laughs> I'm just like having them here. And then this ring is not from Coffee and Couture. This ring is from Greece. I got this in Greece um, this summer. I do have contacts in Greece. So if you guys would be interested in this ring, let me know. Um, it is sterling silver. So that's what I'm saying. Like it might be more expensive. Normally I don't like to drink coffee after 3 p.m. It's uh, almost 4.30 right now, but I just like was really craving a cup for some reason. Like I really wanted a cup of coffee. i um, going to light this candle. This is my favorite candle. Mahogany balsam. Is that how you say it or balsam? Balsam. I was watching um, this video and I love the chair. So I commented, but then I like to find things myself because I'm not patient. And it looks like these are very similar, but I'm trying to decide on the color. Um, I don't want to spend, you know, $700 on a freaking chair. Um, Plus, like, I don't mind faux fur, so this is all, these are faux fur. I don't know what to, what color to choose, though. Um, I don't like the brown in this one. I like this pink, but what do you guys think? That rhymed. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm leaning towards this one. Because it kind of looks like, no, no, no. I like this pink one, but not... Okay, at first I was, like, kind of leaning towards this one, but I feel like it looks kind of, like, mint. And I'm not into that. Um, and I... Uh, I kind of like this one, this, like, mink-looking one. I don't like this afro-y, like, curly look. This is what I'm leaning towards. Oh, but this one's nice, too. Oh, no, I don't think I like that. I hope it's nice in person. Okay, so this is actually on sale for 200 which is a pretty decent price. And I just feel like the fur, like the faux fur, looks like really good quality. Compared to like this one from Pottery Barn Teen, where this looks like a shag carpet. It looks better. It looks like very lush and like very rich, like, like good quality compared to this one. I was just like looking it up. I feel like my whole world just opened up you guys know i love faux fur and look at these faux fur sleeping bags i have nowhere to go sleep in a sleeping bag but i feel like i need one i'm laughing because i just realized that i literally just bought mike a gaming chair that he's gonna love but inadvertently i bought it like as an accident for him because i bought it for me but i can already like i already know he's gonna drag that up right to the screen and play his playstation in this chair, and I'm sure he's gonna love it. Like, I'm sure this is gonna be his like favorite gaming chair. 